Now, Rebecca, why on earth would we celebrate 50 uh, the 50th anniversary of any road, let alone this one? <laughs> well, I think the question really, Simon, is why not? Why not celebrate Spaghetti Junction? Of course, it's not just any road, is it? It was iconic at its time of building and it's used by 220,000 vehicles every single day, which makes it the busiest road junction in Europe. Now, I will give you that it's not often free-flowing, but it, it is very, very busy, and I'm sure you yourself have been over it. Now, we know it's Spaghetti Junction, but it's actually the Gravelly Hill interchange, and you won't ever find it on a map referred to as Spaghetti Junction. But interestingly, since its construction, loads of other in uh, big interchanges have been named Spaghetti Junction as a result of it. So it's really popular. It's known around the world. And it is pretty impressive when you look at the size of it. It's held up by about 550 columns. It had to be elevated. There were 13 kilometres of motorway that had to be elevated to accommodate the rivers and the canals that run underneath it. So, you know, it's an impressive piece of engineering. It's known as Spaghetti Junction because it was actually named by a journalist because he said it looked like a messy plate of spaghetti and an attempt at a Staffordshire knot. That was back in 1965. Well, you have to say you had a point. Yeah. Uh, but, and what, what's being done to mark this anniversary? OK, well, using the spaghetti, we are going to be cooking up something pretty impressive. Well, it's not going to be us, it's Glyn Purnell, the Michelin-starred chef. So he has made a recipe to celebrate Spaghetti Junction. But he's not using your normal spaghetti, because, of course, that's not come from Birmingham. So he's made his own spaghetti using potato and celeriac, because he says it mimics the salt of the earth that we Brummies are. He also um, is trying to tart it up a little bit with some truffle oil and some cream. That is to show how far Birmingham has come. Now, he's told us he's pretty proud to have been uh, put in line with this project too. So when people either sit on the TV or whether they're on the uh, A38, the Spaghetti Junction, it's, it's iconic. It's an iconic land piece, uh, landmark for Birmingham. Uh, it's very practical. And when you think about Birmingham, you do think about the boring, the rotunda, and you also feel the same with the junction. So it's, 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 it's special. It's a special. It's a special junction. Now, this is, of course, the 50th anniversary of the start of construction. So it took four years to build, so probably four more years of celebrations to come. And I think there's something quite exciting going on with Legoland, but you'll have to wait to find out about that. Yeah. I'm just looking at you smiling and all happy, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking, next time you're sitting on Spaghetti Junction in your car in traffic, yeah. just remember how happy you were at this moment. I know. I, I travel up and down that road almost every single day. I've spent a good few hours on Spaghetti Junction, let me tell you. <laughs> well, well, you obviously enjoy it. Rebecca, thank you very much. Uh, and Amelia, great to see you as well. Thank you very much, both of you. That's Nationwide this evening.